Hello, what is up you guys? Coming at you with another great awesome video here on Sizzle TV. Today I'm going to show you my top 5 sneaker pickups in 2015. And I just to let you know you guys, in this video there will only be only top 5 shoes, not a sneaker review or an unboxing. I'm just going to show you my top 5, what I think in my personal opinion about the, the top 5 2015 uh, most uh, uh, cop shoes that I think uh, people haven't even even gotten or haven't gotten their hands into them or it's not even a you know a most uh hype shoe as others you know want to call like the sneaker heads uh, hype beast and whatnot i'm not one of those you guys um i i get what i like i don't buy what others like and i just buy what what looks good on feet and what i think is is an awesome great looking shoe to wear so coming at you at the first one is the uh the Air Jordan 14 Low, Laney. Uh, the last time this shoe came out was in 1999. Uh, so here's the uh, the sneaker, you guys. Uh, and the toe box, it's like a it's like a Terra Buck feel. And then you have your um, well, not in this 14, but on the other 14s that has like a a carbon fiber plate. But here's the bottom. Of the right shoe, you guys, and then you got your air bubble inside right there, and um, you got your your very soft new book material on the side of the shoe, right here. I'm a really big fan of the Terra Buck and New Buck. And then you got your Jumpman right there, and then you also have the uh, Jordan on both side of the 14s. Which on some of these 14s, like from last year that came out, they had 23 in the back of them, on all of them. Like on the 14 Ferrari, on the Thunder 14, the Sport Blue 14, and the um, some other one that I just forgot the name of it. But yeah, um, this is my first my first choice and my first uh, pickup for 2015 that I like. In my personal opinion, let me know in the comments below, you guys, what you guys' personal favorite was in the 2015 uh, pickup. So that's number one, everyone. Number two, we have the Air Jordan 4 Columbia. Now, this shoe was a must, must cop. Why? Let me give you uh, reasons why. Number one, the last time this shoe came out, same thing as the... Uh, as the other retro I just uh, talked about was in 1999, everyone. And this shoe is just beyond like the quality, the leather of this shoe. There are the two jump mints in the Columbia blue. It's just amazing. The The quality of this shoe is just the tumbled leather, the leather feel and the toe box, the laces. And just the materials, you guys, you know, you got your air bubble in the back of the shoe right there. You know, still clear, still pretty good. And um, I personally like the shoe, you guys. It's in a size 11 and a half. And uh, I really like the shoe, you guys. This is my second pickup of 2015. Let me know you guys in the comments below what you guys like in the 2015 second pickup. Coming at net number three, we have the Air Jordan 1 Chicago. Now, this is my top favorite pickup for 2015. Let me tell you the reasons why. One is because the toe box leather in the shoe is amazing. You got your little holes for more breathable wear. You got your swoosh Nike check mark on all black. And the quality and the leather of this shoe is just amazing. Not as amazing as the shattered backboard ones. But this shoe, you guys, you got your little three laces. I chose the black one because it's like more an original one that Jordan uh, balled in in 1985. And um, you got your your colors, the white, the red, and the black. I personally like this shoe, you guys. This is my must cop 2015. If any of you missed out on this shoe, uh, you still got a chance to go to flyclub.com or go to amazon.com. But then again, you're going to pay extra. And this shoe, I've heard it, it goes for around 450 400 But this shoe is just uh, one of the most amazing must cop 2015 shoes of all time. And uh, as you can see, no jumping in the back. 
and um, this is one of my top favorites you guys so there you have it the, uh, the third pick of my choice of 2015 and coming on at number four we have the dirty bread 13 this is another awesome sneaker that I liked personally one uh, I'll, I'm a big fan of the uh, the dirty bread colorway not many of like a lot of of course it's worn a lot of people not, not a lot of people out there like sneakerheads what you want to call or collectors are not really a big fan of the uh, the dirty bread some of us are some of some of us are not uh, this shoe you guys the leather is very nice on the upper and then you have the new buck on the side of the shoe which is pretty nice um, to top it off this is this shoe you can pretty much wear with anything casual wear and yes I've worn my the shoe like twice or three times where are your shoes everyone just where are your shoes and um, this is one of my fourth pickups of 2015 it's in a size 11 and a half I just like the material I like the shoe I just like the way it stands out and the way it looks when I first saw it I was just uh, not even thinking about it I just went to the store and asked for a size 11 and a half to see if they still had some and I was shocked they still had some still in stock not a running size but still pretty good and there's the shoe you guys my fourth uh, 2015 pickup in my opinion that I think is very nice and coming at the last one my fifth and last pickup for 2015 would be the Air Jordan 11 bread this is not a dirty bread but most of us like the uh, call it the, uh, the dirty bread on the 13s but this is the uh, 11 low this is my fifth my favorite top five pickup of 2015 you can see we have the uh, 23 in the back kind of like the original the high top version has a, a bigger 23 but in this one is it's a low it is a size 11 and a half I have not worn this shoe yet everyone but sooner enough I'm gonna wear it with something I'm not sure what you got your carbon fiber in the bottom of the sole and uh, the pant leather around the shoe it's just an awesome, very nice quality looking shoe, you guys. The Air Jordan 11 bread. I mean, a lot of people don't don't really want to miss out on this colorway. But um, on the 11s, usually they sell out. But it all, it all depends on which color. Like on this one, on the low bread 11, it sold out pretty quickly, within 15, 20 minutes. And this is one of my favorite, one of my favorite 11 lows that's that's come out in the 2015. I know they came out with the uh, a uh, Georgetown 11 low and also last year in 2014 they came out with the uh, infrared 11 low which is an okay shoe but I usually go more for original colorways that Michael Jordan balled in but uh, yeah there you have it you guys this is my uh, top five sneaker review for 2015 my in my opinion the the my top five pickups and make sure to thumbs up the video you guys make sure to give me, give me a comment what are your top five sneaker videos I mean your top five sneakers for 2015 and there you have it, you guys make sure to comment follow me on Twitter follow me on Instagram and make sure you check the, check the link below for the J Mark one of the best cleaners in the market peace out everyone